it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And today I have a very um, unusual jewelry uh, on bagging, so to speak. Um, in one of my local um, recycle groups, someone was offering um, this, this bunch of stuff. You just had to, you know, go and pick it up. And I think I saw the uh, posting about you know five seconds after it appeared because it just happened to be when i was uh, on uh, facebook and this is one of the things that i saw and i said yes i could really make use of that and we managed to work it out and i went and picked it up and this is what i got now first of all this is a set of cabochons i think these are all real stones um, I don't know exactly the types, though I would say that these for sure are, whoops, <sighs> are amethyst. So, beautiful cabochons. There's, uh, this one I would think would be rose quartz. You can sort of see the pinky tone to it. This, I'm not sure what it is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the crystal structure shining in there. Um, there's this one as well. It's got a little bit of iridescence. So anyway, a beautiful, uh, group of stone, um, cabochons. And I will have an amazing time working those into jewelry. So those are the stones. And just so that I don't make a mess I'm gonna just put them all back in their little bag I'll have to do some more research to find out exactly what those are then we have uh, there was there were two pendants this one uh, let's see is marked silver on the back and actually it does test as being silver and these are just faux pearls but beautiful uh, little carved sort of bow. Very, very pretty pendant. And this, again, is another um, faux pearl pendant with some rhinestones. Very nicely designed and shaped. Um, this part is silver. But the rest doesn't seem to be, doesn't test as silver. But still, beautiful. Now, I'm not sure what this stone is. It looks like it could be turquoise. Uh, I really have no idea. Um, it, you can't really test for turquoise. It could be molded. It could be, you know, I don't know. But it's beautiful. And it actually has a couple of holes. I haven't checked to see if the holes go the way through or how you would use those. But a beautiful stone in itself. Um, there were a couple of little carvings. This, I think, is uh, a rat. Um, probably the Chinese symbol for year of the rat or, you know, some kind of a gift you would give in that way. I'm going to uh, take a photo of this and then uh, do an online uh, reverse image search, see if I can actually really identify it suppose it could be some kind of a dog or other creature i'm not sure i thought it was a rat and then this is whoops better turn it around so you can really see it it's a little monkey um and i'm not sure if that's a little another monkey up up there it looks like it might be molded glass it could be it could be no it looks like almost like there's pieces here these dark pieces have been added to it it could be a form of jade it's a little uh it has a, a label there that needs to be cleaned off could be jade or another stone and these are some uh, of the inclusions in the stone that it so it's been carved to but whatever um it's made out of it's actually it's beautiful it's gorgeous and uh so we'll be keeping those um, then there were some rings. 
there were actually three rings and there weren't there was just one photo and it was kind of difficult to see everything that was included so these were amazing rings they've got beautiful rhinestones just one missing there look at this beautiful probably glass uh, cabochon at the top um, unfortunately um, too small for any of my fingers but uh, if I were to wear a big heavy ring that's where I could wear it it's gorgeous um, and this is uh, marked 925 in there and I it did test for silver when I tested it uh, there's this ring with rhinestones on either side and a beautiful carving and I'm not sure uh, what this represents but I'm going to do a search and I'll try to put the information in the video if I find it in time uh, I suspect this is a piece of jade it could be serpentine um, and again this was uh, where did I see it oh yes down there it's hard to sort of it is labeled 925 and it did test for for silver and then there was this ring again I think just glass but a beautiful beautiful large rhinestone um, in that shape and again I'm not not big enough for any of my fingers well wait a minute I never did try it on that finger before oh it fits that finger I'm surprised that's my ring finger holy moly oh wow there hey I just gained a ring that fits the rest of them are uh, too small anyways three beautiful rings um, there's this, which I think is a piece of volcanic rock, perhaps, lava rock, um, just a raw stone, but very beautiful in the shine and the texture. I'm not sure what I could do with that. I might, uh, have to get a setting for it. Then there were some other pendants or carvings. Um, this one, we're not really sure if this is supposed to be a monkey holding some fruit, a person holding a bird. Uh, it's really difficult to figure out what this represents. I think that's supposed to be like a leaf, the green coming down to a leaf in the back. And then the green just being some leaves in the front. So maybe a monkey holding on to a tree. You can't really see any much definition in the face there. So, uh, but I think probably a monkey. Then there are these other carved pieces. So these are, um, probably, this might be carnelian. Um, turn it to this side this I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a monkey the big eyes remind me of a bush baby again it's a beautiful carving with uh, what looks like leaves on the background um, and in the same similar color same probably the same stone um, more of a stylized uh, perhaps a warrior um, this wrapping down here reminds me of a sumo wrestler but I don't know what this represents and then this um, looks like some kind of warlord just by the sort of beard and the headdress but again as I said I will be trying to identify these by their images online this is uh, a pressed glass piece um, and uh, I would say it's a religious deity I'm it looks more like a, from Thailand 
for Japan, then from China. This is also, um, again, looks like a praying or post uh, female character with, it looks like they're holding a vase, I'm not sure. Um, and this might be a type of jade or serpentine. This is um, what looks like a laughing Buddha, uh, perhaps jade. An interesting, a, a very interesting um, way that it's mounted. And I didn't, oh yeah, I did test this for gold and it's not gold, it's just gold tone metal. And here's another Buddha-like character with a interesting little flower on the forehead. And lovely stone again. And again, uh, I did test this and it's not gold. So that's the uh, variety of wonderful things that I got um, just for saying that I was interested and uh, I'm hoping to um, repurpose some of these into with uh, um, putting a, be uh, not a bezel, putting a frame around them, beading a frame. Um, around the cabochons, even around these, that'd be very interesting uh, hanging as a pendant. Um, but I also hope to find out more about them and to uh, uh, give them uh, their due in terms of the what type of uh, uh, background there is to the items, to the pictures, significance of the uh, the carvings. So I hope you enjoyed this very interesting uh, sort of Asian inspired. Um, bit of jewelry thrifting and I'll be back again soon. It's Pat from Passions and Pastimes. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day.